Hey everybody, um, it's a cool day uh, to say the least here in Middle Tennessee. Woke up this morning about 18 degrees and uh, might make it up to 40 today. But uh, I know you guys up uh, in the northeast are uh, suffering a lot worse than we are. But uh, pretty chilly, but beautiful day, sunshine. And uh, doing something a little bit different today. Um, uh, nothing to turn. Uh, but I wanted to share with something that uh, that I had built and um, I had been using it on occasion and it appears to be working quite well and that is a homemade kiln. Uh, made it out of a freezer, an upright freezer and uh, just rewired it, took all the guts out and uh, am heating it by a 60 watt light bulb. So. Uh, uh, let's go uh, take a look at it and show you what I did, how I did it. Uh, it's already constructed, so I'm uh, not going to show you how that uh, process happened. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you what I used uh, and how we did it. So let's take a look. Okay, that's it. Uh, these freezers, uh, man, you can you can get them a dime a dozen on uh, um, yard sale sites. Uh, anywhere marketplace on Facebook, uh, whatever it may be, people are just wanting to get rid of them and to ask you to haul them away and it saves them a lot of trouble. Working or not working, uh, people are, seem to be really willing uh, to get rid of these things. So uh, I don't think you'll ever have to pay for one. Um, you may, but uh, it shouldn't be more than just 10 bucks or so because you're just gonna haul it off. Um, but uh, find one that's not working, uh, do somebody a favor and, and grab it and take it and, um, and use it. Uh, it. It keeps it from going in the landfill too. So uh, anyway, uh, that's it. Um, let's go into a little bit more detail about what we did. As you can see, uh, a couple holes uh, right here and right here. And I got the same thing on the other side. Um, just took a big hole saw, I think it's a two inch hole, and uh, drilled four holes, two on each side. Uh, here's a little better look at it. Um, uh, the upper one and then the lower one, uh, as you can see it is on. Um, I just turned it on just to see how it's going to react and stuff. Um, I also made uh, these little uh, Lexan covers. Uh, what this allows me to do is to actually regulate some of the temperature and you, and you just open it up. Um, you have to take a screwdriver and tighten that down a little bit wherever you'd like it, but uh, that's a trial and error uh, effort uh, to set your temperature. Um, from what I understand, you need to get it up to 110 or so to kill the bugs and, and eggs and stuff that are still might be in the wood uh, and to effectively dry it out without uh, um, drying it out too too quickly um, so that's uh, that was done on each side and um, I believe it was a two inch hole saw I added this um, thermometer and it also reads uh, humidity uh, as you can see it's just really low right now uh, just because it just now turned it on um, uh, I presently have a 60 watt bulb in there and I intend to go up to 75 uh, for the reason um, at least where I'm at and what I've been doing I've pretty much had to keep it all closed on the vents and stuff like that uh, to get it up to the 110, 105, 110 degrees consistently. Um, so I figure if I can go up to a hotter bulb and then start opening these, it gives me a little bit more flexibility, a little more regulation, a little bit better airflow um, for uh, drying the wood. As you can see, it's just a regular uh, freezer. Completely, you need the shelves, so make sure you get shelves with it. Um, this is the uh, thermometer and uh, uh, humidity sensor. Uh, just dangling I'm sure there's probably a scientific way that needs to be happening there but I just don't I don't know what it is but uh, uh, I'm more inclined to at least monitor the temperature 
Um, from the times I have used it, um, once it got up to temperature and you got a humidity rating, um, you would see that rating going down, which uh, I assume that's what you want. You're taking the moisture out of the wood. And um, so uh, it slowly creeps down, um, I guess, to show that it's working. Uh, I just use a, a light bulb ceramic light bulb holder. I put a, a gang box behind it. I did not mount it on the floor uh, for the reason of the freezers. And I don't know if you can see it or not. But right below the light bulb is a drain. And that allows the any kind of moisture. It's not like it's going to have puddled up or anything like that. But it does allow the uh, moisture to uh, just drip on out of it and uh, not condensate on the bottom of the freezer floor. Um, for that reason, you would not want to put the light bulb um, on the floor of the freezer for fear of uh, water getting in it and stuff like that. This one had a fan. It had a working fan. And I went ahead and wired it up. Uh, all that does is just allow circulation within it. Um, that fan draws through that hole and comes out right there. So you just have a constant circulation uh, of air inside the freezer, which uh, I think would be very beneficial. So if you can, it's not necessary per se, uh, mandatory by any means, but uh, I think it's a big plus if you can find one uh, that does have the fan working in it. It's got a door switch that if you really wanted to get fancy you could uh, run wires to your fan and every time you open the door take the fan off. I don't know why you want to do that but that means it's um, you're either running it or you're not. So, uh, you know, that's totally up to you uh, if you wanted to do something of that nature. Um, but it's it's an easy project. All in all, literally, um, I have to go liberally and go out on a limb. I might have 30 bucks in the whole thing. Um, the, the most expensive thing was, was the... Um, meter. I uh, got it off Amazon and uh, you know it's all, of, all that, the wiring, um, found spare wire down here in the basement, uh, went, went and bought a gang box that are a couple bucks. Um, so just a very inexpensive project that you can do uh, to dry some wood pretty quick. Uh, probably about half the time uh, is what it would have just sitting around in your basement or, or outside. Um, but it's a it's an easy thing to do, fun thing, uh, and beneficial. I, I think uh, uh, it's not like it's in the way, uh, just like any other freezer that you might have in your basement um, that uh, you just store wood in it. So anyway, um, that's it. Four holes, a light bulb, and a fan, and you got yourself a kiln. So anyway, thanks for, thanks for uh, checking in. Uh, hope to get turning here. Uh, it's 2020 has been a weird year to say the least. Uh, the craft shows and stuff just really haven't happened. Um, it's been, uh, I get it. It's, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay safe and, and do what you gotta do. Um, but uh, it's uh, somewhere along the way, we gotta get back to normal too. Um, so, uh, anyway, hopefully 2021 will be much better. Um, we're uh, through the winter. I'm just going to work on the shop. Uh, might even put out some videos. I'm going to get my uh, duck work for my um, dust collection system uh, put up. So maybe we'll do some videos on that and such. But uh, it's been a while since I put one out, uh, just mainly because stuff's really not happening. Um, so other than building inventory, uh, it's kind of tough to do that and let it sit upstairs in your room until somebody can see it. So anyway, you guys stay safe out there. Thanks for checking in. 
Um, I hope this is beneficial. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got ideas, uh, put them in the comments section. I'd love to hear it uh, on how maybe how you did it. Um, light bulb ideas. Uh, another thing people lose, I just thought of this, some people use the uh, ceramic uh, discs and they screw into the light bulb socket. Um, they use them, I think they're uh, for reptiles in terrariums and, and such like that and it keeps things warm. People use that if you're not comfortable using a light bulb. So um, uh, I, I've not tried that. I may uh, if I if the 75 watt doesn't give me a little bit more heat. I'm wanting to get a little bit warmer so I can control it with the vents. Uh, and right now I don't have that. But so we'll get there. Uh, and so if you if you know of anything, uh, put them in the comments and let me know. Uh, anyway, uh, you all uh, uh, have a safe and Merry Christmas, um, and I hope it's blessed. And uh, if you have the opportunity and, and can uh, be with your family, um, you know, just just do what you are comfortable doing. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. Merry Christmas, New Year's, uh, and all that, and uh, God bless.